everyone so it's another week now since you last saw me vlog um the weeks are going so quick aren't they i mean it only feels like a couple of days ago that was in chessington and now you know it's coming to the end of september and it's just it's just ridiculous how quick the weeks are flying past so um i want to start by apologizing this won't be another vlog of me rabbiting for 15 20 minutes or so before anything happens um don't worry jess has given me the lecture you know in the old ear um you have to understand though that i am quite a shy person i'm not very talkative if you meet me in person i'm quite a shy person um i'm not very talkative sometimes i could come across quite rude and i'm not it's just that i'm very shy and i struggle to hold a conversation with someone that i'm not very you know that i don't really know that well so um for me doing this it's quite it's quite daunting but i think i'm putting it down to that if you're going to work on your own and you're spending all day in a warehouse on your own no one to talk to you load the van and you go and do your delivery up north no one to talk to you come home in the van no one to talk to you come home to an empty house there's no one to talk to in the evenings there's no one to talk to and it's been like that for four weeks i think i'm looking for any excuse to talk or to hold a conversation with people so that's why i think my vlog so far have been me just rabbiting for 15 20 minutes because when i start i can't seem to stop so um this one's not going to be me rabbiting for long it's saturday the 26th of um september um I haven't really done much this morning. I've just got up, put a wash on, had a shower, um, done myself some lunch. And now I'm just waiting for the United game on. As you can see, I've got my top on. Go on, United. So, yeah, that we've got Brighton today. Hopefully, we'll win. And I promise, if we win, lose or draw, I will still come on and sort of, you know, continue with the vlog. Come on, United. So, um, yeah, I got up early this morning because last night, or yesterday, I should say, I brought a computer from PC World. It was like a, a redundancy present from my boss. So I brought a computer on PC World. It's something that I've wanted for ages. Um, so we've, um, I brought that last night and I was meant to go and collect it this morning. So I set my alarm for 10 o'clock this morning and I got an email with the receipt and everything confirming that my purchase is made. But it also said, please do not come to the store to collect it until we notify you. Now it's about 12.15 now and I've still not received any notification. So I'm thinking that it's going to either be a late one today when I go and collect it or it might even be Sunday or even Monday. So um, yeah, I'm a bit um, annoyed because I hopefully, I, I had it hopeful that I could edit on it tonight and just try it out but obviously that probably won't happen now because um i've still not received any email yet so i'm thinking it's probably going to be more sunday or monday which is a bit of a shame but there's nothing much i can do about that i'm happy i'm getting a, la a computer anyway so um jess has sent me some more videos again today with a few pictures which i'll insert in a second it's just given more in depth she's had more procedures she's had a little miniature operation uh, a few days ago yesterday i should say so it's just a little video of um jess just telling you what's what's happened and just giving you the latest update so i'll insert that now hi everyone um i just wanted to come to you today um in this vlog to give you an update about what's been going on with my health um, yesterday I had my central line fitted in my femoral vein and for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it is the um, main vein that's in your groin area. So I was um, taken down to the surgical ward at the Royal Three which is absolutely huge. Now I've had quite a few operations and procedures in the past but this was so intimidating but it's so amazing to think that there's this ward that no one really knows about but people are just saving lives daily um, so that was quite um, an amazing experience to uh, see the NHS at work and knowing that behind those closed doors they're saving people's lives and giving them a better quality of life 
So yeah, I went into the uh, procedure room and a lovely um, anaesthetist was waiting for me and a doctor named Mike and he explained everything to me. He checked the uh, main artery in my neck to see if that was suitable for the uh, central line to be placed but it, my veins were too small so it had to go in the groin. Um, so yeah, they did the procedure, it took about half an hour. It wasn't painful, it was just really uncomfortable because I had to make a big hole in order to get a very large tube um, and put it straight into the vein about one centimetre away from my artery, which is a bit daunting. But now that it's done, I can hopefully start my plasma exchange today or Monday. I do have a feeling it's going to be Monday, which doesn't bother me as long as it's done soon because I can't be left much longer without food. Uh, last night I did actually brave, be really brave and try a little bit of mash and gravy but as usual within seconds um, it didn't stay in my uh, digestive system very long so it was a very painful night for me. Um, I probably should have waited but I'm just sick of lying here with just water and fluids so it was four weeks yesterday that I've been in hospital. I am going to insert some pictures of my um, pick line and my central line so you can see the difference between the two. So that picture that you did just see was of my pick line. Now my pick line is in my upper right arm and the pick line basically is a very small catheter that is placed in my vein and it goes straight up towards my heart so they are able to take bloods and give me fluids through the um, central line without any complications because due to my Bechet syndrome my veins are very weak and they do clot up easily after a couple of tries of trying to place a cannula or take blood so a central line is a safer um, and more um, easier way basically to keep up my fluid intake and my nutritional intake and they're able to take blood without any um, causing any pain to me or having any more collapsed veins. The picture that you just saw was of my central line which as I have previously mentioned it is a larger catheter that is placed into a incision in my groin, in my right groin and it is fed through the vein which is known as the femoral vein which is about one to two centimeters below my femoral artery which is a little bit daunting but in order to have such an invasive treatment known as plasma exchange they need to take my blood and my plasma remove all of that and replace it with a donated person's blood and plasma so the um, the line and the tube and the catheter that goes in to my femoral vein is a lot larger so the procedure was a lot more painful and you can see the difference between the pick line and the central line is that the pick line is a lot smaller of a catheter whereas the um, central line is a lot larger that's probably why I'm hopping around in a little bit of discomfort and a little bit of pain um, but at least I know that either today, um, that today is Saturday, so at least I know today or um, Monday possibly, um, two days before you'll see this vlog, I hopefully will have started my treatment and by the time you see this vlog I will hopefully have finished my first cycle. So oh, I'm really daunting and it's, but it's also really positive. So yeah, um, I will add some links below for anyone who is more interested in pick line and what central lines are and if you are due to receive a pick line or a central line it'll just give you a little bit of insight as to what they are and just to let you know they both didn't hurt the only thing that caused a little bit of discomfort was the injections of the lidocaine which numbed both areas there was a bit of pulling and a bit of tugging during the um, procedure when I had the central line fitted but that's yeah. normal because they have to make a larger hole in order to fit the uh, larger catheter in. So yeah, um, that's
that's all I've really got to report today and I hope you've enjoyed um, me telling you about what's been going on with my health. I'm still currently in the Royal Three Hospital in um, Hampstead and I can't thank the staff enough for all of their support. It's a crowded Brighton box. It's gone in towards Maguire. Oh, it's headed off the line. It's headed off the line by Sonny March. He's just come up with two of the biggest headers of his life. I don't know what. The checking handball. The checking for a handball. What is he thinking about in the last second of the game? He leads with his left arm. It's a penalty, of course. It is a penalty. Go on, Bruno. Get in! Circumstance to the Amex. Brighton two. Oof, what a game. What a great advert for the Premier League. <sighs> it was so close there. I'm so happy we got the three points. So happy. <sighs> um, my nerves are shot at the moment because my heart is pumping big time after that game. It looked like we're scuppered and thrown away two points and then right at the last second we get the penalty. <sighs> so close. I need to get my breath back. Then I'm going to get changed, I think. And then I've had some good news. So during uh, half time, I got an email from Curry's and PC World to say that the computer is ready for me to go and collect. So I'm just going to go and get changed now. And then I'm going to go and pick it up. So I'm so excited to get home and try it all out. So I'll see you, see you soon, guys. So I'm just in the car now, I'm about to pull off to go to PC World. I'm really looking forward to picking up this computer. It's something that me and Jess really wanted for a couple of years now, but um, we just haven't had the space for it. So over the last couple of weeks before Jess went into hospital, we've been changing the bedroom around, rejigging it about so we had enough space for a little, like a little office. Um, editing on the laptop's fine, but it's not got much memory. So we've always wanted a computer, a nice smart computer to be put in our bedroom and we can use that for everything then even if I don't get a job driving at first at least I can get a job working from home doing some something on the computer so it works for us in that element too so yeah I'm just about to pull off now to go to PC World um, I can't wait I'm really looking forward to picking it up and then after that I'm probably going to go and grab some dinner somewhere I'm not sure um, what I fancy at the moment it'll probably be a harvester because there is a harvester next door so I might even go and harvesters on my, on my Larry for a, uh, a meal or something you know so um, yeah I'll check back in with you like, later guys Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all So it's Saturday night now, it's about uh, 20 to 9, so I've been back for a few hours now, I got back about, it must have been getting on for say half six by the time I got in and sorted everything out. Um, I've not assembled the computer just yet, I'm going to leave that till tomorrow. Um, tonight I'm just going to sit in front of the TV and just catch up on some programs that I've not watched throughout the week. So that's going to be a job for me to do tomorrow. You won't see the computer now probably until the next vlog next Wednesday. So I'll make sure there's a clip of it in there just so you can see what computer we went for. Yeah, so once I left uh, PC World and put the uh, computer in the car, I went next door to Harvesters. Um, I was a little bit, 
how do I say, a bit wary of going on my own. It's not the sort of thing I sort of do. I mean, I know when I'm at work and I'm on deliveries, I normally go into like fast food places and eat on my own, but sitting at a proper sit down restaurant on a busy Saturday afternoon, is not something that I'm normally, what I would normally do. Uh, but I thought to hell with it, I'll go and do it. Um, I went in there, there's a few looks, I think there was a few looks, whether it was me just being paranoid, not sure. But I must say the Harvester's staff were absolutely spot on. So if you've not been in a few weeks or since lockdown happened, uh, back in March I think, uh, you go in, they make you scan the um, track and trace thing on barcode as soon as you go in the door. They uh, find you a table, you sit down before they even give you any, or before they offer you anything, they make sure they come over to your table and ask you if you've got any um, allergies, any food allergies. After they've asked you about what allergies you've got, they then offer you the drinks menu. So I opted just for a tea because it was quite cold outside, so I just decided to go for a tea. And then they come back a few minutes later and ask if you want, you know, if you chose what you want to eat yet. So I picked my order, I went for the chicken combo. Now I wasn't aware that the salad bar was still open. I assumed that it was cancelled or, you know, been put away until the foreseeable. But no, the salad bar was still open. The customers couldn't go over to it. But what the staff did is they give you this, like, a sheet of paper with a pen and it's got a list of all the, um, all the food options on this, that is available at the salad bar. So you just tick what you want, give it back to the, the uh, waiter, and then she goes back to the salad bar and does it for you herself, which I was pretty impressed with. I thought, I honestly uh, thought that the salad bar would not be there anymore, but yeah, I was quite impressed with that. The food, when it came out, delicious. Really hot, really fresh food, like it always is in Harvester. I must admit, it's probably one of my favorite places in the UK to eat. Uh, the bill came to, I think, about 21 pound, which, it's not bad for one person. I must admit, halfway through the meal, I got a little bit, I won't say teary, but I got a little bit emotional sitting on my own with, you know, the chair opposite me with where Jess should have been. Uh, it just didn't feel right. I mean, the food itself was lovely. I cannot fault the food. It was brilliant. I just wish Jess was there with me. It just felt a little bit... It just didn't feel right. It just felt strange just not being there. Um, Jess did call me whilst I was eating, so I did sort of tell her my concerns and, you know, she reassured me that it all will be better soon and she will be there with me next time. So I'm hoping that um, next time I go out, you know, Jess will be with me and then we can go back to the fun vlogs that we've had recently. I, I know the last two or three have been a little bit, I wouldn't say depressing, but... It's been a little bit sad, shall we say, but at the end of the day, this is real life. You know, it can't all be trips out, fine meals and holidays. There is day-to-day -day stuff. There is stuff that goes on, you know, where it's not all, how would I say, it's not all um, sunshine and rainbows. You know, this is real life. And me and Jess want to try it and just show everyone that even though we do have some good times, there's some brilliant trips, we've got some brilliant holidays coming up next year. You know, there is dark days where uh, it's a little bit sad. So hopefully, Jess is starting treatment this Monday. So you're watching this uh, Wednesday. So hopefully she started treatment two days ago. Once that's done, there is no reason for Jess to stay in hospital. Once she's done that and she's had a word with a dietitian and some other consultants to show her and tell her what she can and can't eat when she comes home, and she does start eating in the hospital. Um, she should be coming home, but obviously she's got to start eating food in the hospital and keeping it down rather than being sick. So once that starts, she should be home. So I'm gonna say about a week to 10 days, if the treatment starts Monday, she should be home. So fingers crossed, she'll be coming home soon because um, it's not been nice for her and it's not been nice for me either. Um, we do want to get back out again and start doing some more positive vlogs, like I said. But obviously we can't, it can't all be sunshine and rainbows at the moment. So this is real life. This is the way it's gonna be for the next few weeks maybe. Just wanna mention, early in the vlog, you saw me uh, take an envelope out the door, a pink envelope with the name Jessica on it. Um, it was from my auntie and uncle, uh, Valerie and Steve. 
Uh, unfortunately, they did knock on the door, but I was in the shower at the time, so I couldn't open the door. So um, they've put a card through the uh, letterbox, uh, a get well soon card addressed to Jess. So thank you guys. Um, I've told Jess about it now and showed her on um, WhatsApp. So she's very grateful for that. She said she will give you a call and a text um, later on, probably in the week, just to say thank you. So I'm really uh, grateful for that. And it really brightens the day up when she gets posts. So thank you very much, guys. Um, we both love you lots. And uh, thank you very much for um, thinking of us. It really does make the difference to her day. It makes that little bit of difference from being a bad day to a good day. So even if you're thinking, no, oh, it's only a like, it's only a quick comment, it's only a message, please do it, guys, because the... The, um, the support it gives her is monumental. Even if she wakes up one day in hospital and she's just feeling a bit down, she's feeling like nothing's going for her. One comment, one like, one message, honestly, it changes the whole outlook for the day and it makes her feel positive. So thank you very much, guys. I really, really, really can't stress to you how appreciative Jess and I are for all the love and support. It really shows that we're not alone. And even though I am on my own at the moment, knowing that there's people out there that are thinking of us and that are sending me messages and texts asking how Jess is or how I am, I really, really appreciate it. You know, it's a nice little, how do I say, it's a nice little kickstart to the day you know just when I'm thinking a little bit lonely feeling a little bit lonely a little bit down thinking oh it's gonna be another day of just sitting around doing nothing I get a message or a text from a friend or just gets a message or a text from a friend or even Instagram followers even people that don't really know us and YouTube followers they don't know us they've got no idea who we are they've only maybe watched a couple of our vlogs but they're still showing us love and support and we're so, so, so grateful for that. So thank you very much, guys. Please keep up the work. Please share our vlogs to anyone else that you know that are going through this or something similar because it's not easy, but we're trying to do our best here. So thank you so much. You can't, I can't stress here how, you know, how appreciative Jess and I are. Literally, it brings tears to eyes when we go onto YouTube and Instagram and we see all the love and support from you all. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, that's it really. I'm gonna end the vlog here um, because I do wanna sit down and just relax. Um, I'm gonna leave Jess to finish the video off because I always get my words mixed up when I'm ending the vlog. So it's best for Jess to do that now. So I'm gonna insert a clip now Jess thanking everyone for watching and so on so for me it's good night and i'll see you next week thank you so i hope you've all enjoyed today's vlog and if you'd like to continue to see updates in mine and wayne's journey and my health journey and hopefully on our next vlog i will be home and we can start filming some more enjoyable content if you'd like to see more vlogs please give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below on what other content you might like to see from Wayne and I. Um, if you'd like to um, subscribe, we would be extremely grateful. And again, please pass on this video and this link to anyone who is going through a chronic condition or is having a central line fitted or a pick line fitted. And hopefully um, this video can bring a little bit of comfort to someone who's feeling a little bit alone like I did. Um, Please click the notification bell um, so you can keep up to date with all of our content. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Jessica and you've seen Wayne previously. We are a married couple and our channel is called Holiday with the Heathers. And we will see you next Wednesday. Bye. everyone it's Monday the 28th of September and I'm happy to announce that I'm finally in the renal ward receiving my plasma exchange so I'm really really pleased and it's coming out of this machine here so currently they are taking my blood 
and cleaning it up, similar to dialysis. And they are removing my plasma and they are also removing my antibodies, good and bad. And then they are replacing it with a um, substitute plasma named albinum. I think it's called albinum. Um, I'll insert the correct name in the description box below. But um, I've got a lovely nurse named Maria looking after me and she's made me feel really comfortable and uh, yeah I just wanted to give you all a quick update and um, if you go over to our Instagram our holiday with the Heathers page you'll be able to see more on our story and follow our journey so yeah I will have hopefully five more of these sessions this week and then I'll have to return in about four to six weeks for some more I'm hoping that my platelets stay high so I don't have to have human plasma because there's a lot more sicker people that need the plasma so fingers crossed I'll just need the substitute and I'll start to feel better so fingers crossed all goes well and I will speak to you all soon bye